In this video we're going to create a simple bow shape using X topology. We'll start out by using the X topology curves to create the outer boundaries of the surface that we're going to work with. Uh, we'll then set up some water lines, just initially uh, very simple shapes. And then we'll use the X topology lofting object to give an indicative shape of the shape of the whole surface. Uh, we'll then adjust the water lines uh, to improve the shape of the whole form. Uh, getting it to quite a good shape before using the X topology surface to build the final representation of the overall bow shape that we're creating. So this is a lines plan of the shape we're going to create. Uh, if you wanted to do this yourself then you can follow the dimensions indicated on the screen here. So now we're going to start preparing the definition of the surface. We'll start with a midship section we'll start by just digitizing a curve and now we're going to position the curve on the midship section we've set a plane and we've just typed the new coordinate in and now we'll give it some features a little bit of a flat side a half breadth of keel and now we'll go through the process of positioning this curve more accurately to the dimensions that we saw previously in the lines plan So trying to get a kind of well-defined shape. We've also used the curve fairing tools to get a more scientific way of smoothness. Next we'll turn to the centerline curve, stem profile. This will consist of four points. We'll add on the feature for the forefoot, the stem, the radius and now go through the process of again positioning this curve with respect to the dimensions that we had in the previous lines plan. And now we'll add the deck curve. It's just a simple line to start with but once we start adding some constraints some tangency controls to the midship section then it becomes curved get a bit of shear and we'll continue on and make that a little bit more customized there next we'll add the half breadth of keel straight section for the main part of the ship and then simply connecting to the bow. So we have a half breadth of half a meter. So there's our initial framework. Now we can start to add some shape into that area. We'll do that with some waterline curves and we'll just type their position and add them in. So that's a set of kind of default shape, primarily being defined by the midship section tangent. At this stage we can create an X topology lofting, an implied surface generated by sort of curve intersection. We don't all need all the sections in the sort of default object, so we'll, we'll reduce the number we have because we're kind of looking at a coarse shape at this stage. We'll also adjust the order in which the curves are generated. So as we've defined walled lines, the logical uh, thing that we need is, is obviously sections and then the water lines that are in the lofting will be fitted to that. So now we're going to go through the process of fairing these water lines to give us a reasonable shape. You can see that the enhanced 3D editing allows us to view in an oblique view, but add points that are with respect to the actual entity we're working with, they're obviously working on the plane. And the same goes for if we're working in an, another view. These points are constrained in the Y direction alone because they can't be moved outside of the plane.
fairing by eye will only allow us to go so far. Uh, we can turn on the section curvature to see a little bit more detailed about what's going on and this will allow us to refine it to a greater level of detail. Often in the initial stages, because you don't know how the surface responds to the changes you're making, sometimes you need to pull the curves around just to see how it's working. And then you'll finally work out where you want to maybe refine it, like adding a point there. Again, another point up there, just to manipulate the shape into the form that you, you desire. Here we're using the keys, the arrow keys, to just very give fine adjustments to those points. So at this stage we're finished with this version of the lofting. We're going to create another version to uh, look at the buttock shape in more detail. So we basically have two loftings just working at different levels of detail. So we're kind of sighting along the curves to look for any area, any regions of unfairness. Looked okay. So now we're going to go on and put in some sections. The sections are there to cross the water lines because without them we'll end up with some very high aspect ratio surfaces and the quality of them will be quite poor. It also helps to interpolate the tangents of the surface, kind of surface continuity between patches along those curves by having these crossing curves in there. So there is the surface. We can look at that in respect of the contours. Helps to see both sides sometimes. Rendering is another area that will give us, sort of looking at the shininess will allow us to see whether we have any discontinuity in the patches or any areas of poor fairness. We can of course take it to another level of detail with the isophotes and here we see that it's not as perfect as the curves the rendering indicated we can see some areas of discontinuity it's not bad for a surface that was made in five minutes or so, really. Um, that pretty much concludes this simple example.